All right, Heath, update us. What have you been up to since you retired? Uh, I've been uh, a lot, of, spending a lot of time with my family. We have four children, so they've been keeping us pretty busy. And um, yeah, it's been it's been it's been fun. It's been a good good few years to be away, but uh, certainly miss being a part of the Steelers. But um, it will always hold a special place in my life. Coach Tomlin told a story that when he found out that you retired, your position coach, JD, came and knocked on the door. They were meeting for the draft, and as soon as he saw JD, he knew. Why was JD the guy that you, you told first? Uh, he was my position coach for my whole career, and um, you know, I really, I see him as family and still do to this day, so I felt like it was, uh, it was my duty that he knew before anyone else, and uh, you know, certainly he guided me the rest of the way. <laughs> do you still keep in touch? Sure, yeah. We do. Obviously, he's busy this time of year, so not as often in the fall, but um, he's always on our mind, and um, you know, I got to see him today, so that was great. Do you watch a lot of football now that you're not you know, on the team anymore, or do you kind of just do other things? I enjoy watching football. My, my sons enjoy it, too. Um, you know, we'll, we'll watch the Steelers whenever we get the opportunity to, but um, you know, at the same time, the weekends are busy for us, so um, we don't get to watch as often as we'd like. Are all of the kids Steelers fans, or do they maybe like other players since at that age, you know, they can like the, the superstars maybe of other teams? Yeah, well, they're fantasy football guys, <laughs> so they're fans of other players, but the Steelers are their team, and I, I don't think that'll change. What is it like being able to reunite with teammates that you obviously don't get to see a lot and just talk about those old memories, especially Super Bowl 43, which we're celebrating? Yeah, I think... Um, I've seen a few guys so far, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else this evening and tomorrow. And uh, it's special, I think. You realize, you know, we accomplished the Super Bowl. We won it together, and um, you know, now you get to do fun things like this for the rest of uh, the next few years. Are there any teammates that you keep in regular contact with, just throughout normal life? Yeah, there's a handful of guys. I think um, you know we're kind of all in uh, busy times with young families and staying busy. But um, I definitely try to keep in touch with a few guys. At Raymond James Stadium, the site of Super Bowl 43. Super Bowl 43 is underway with the flash bulbs a popping. And that's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. An amazing play by James Harrison. Fitzgerald's going to go all the way for the Cardinals' touchdown. Santonio with a touchdown. Santonio home. I don't know how he did it. Super Bowl 43. Take me through what you remember, what sticks out, and just maybe some of the good memories that. Uh, well, James returned the interception 100 yards, right? And San Antonio made the awesome catch in the corner. Um, outside of that, I just remember it being a, a great, a fun experience. It was the second Super Bowl for me. Um, so second time around, I knew what to expect a little more. I think I really enjoyed the process more going through it a second time, and um, it, was, it was a fun time. What do you think now whenever there are Super Bowls and there's like Super Bowl Media Week and Super Bowl Media Days and everything is just maybe made into an event? Yeah. Is that a lot different than from just Super Bowl 43? Uh, well, it seemed like a big event to us as well. You know, all eyes are on you. And um, as a kid, you always want to play in the big game when, when everyone's watching. And, um, you know, we were fortunate to do that on this team and, and uh, come away with the win. Whenever you're watching games, I'm sure you can probably hear it on TV, but fans still chant Heath every time a yeah. tight end catches the ball. <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, I've been told that. I've been told that. And I think, you know, I, the, the Steelers fans are, are great. And, um, you know, I've never been very comfortable with the attention, but after being away from the team in the game a while, it's, it's certainly um, humbling and um, to know how much they, I feel like, appreciated me as a player. Um, and you know, I, I certainly know that I adore the Steelers nation and appreciate and respect them just as much as they do me. Do you get to lay low now post uh, football career? Do people still recognize you when you're out and about? Uh, not too often. So I'm, I'm pretty much Chase's dad. He used to play <laughs> football, but who cares? On <laughs> the next guy or Jake's dad, Cole's dad, Morgan's dad. So, um, but no, it's it's enjoyable for me to be that for them, and um, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything right now. Your quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, still playing and playing well. What do you think about the fact that he is still doing it and doing it at a high level? Well, he's, he's a great player. He's a Hall of Fame player. And um, I knew when I was playing how lucky I was to play with him. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool to still see him out there. He gets to miss out on fun things like this, but 
No, he's he's got a great offensive line in front of him right now. He has great weapons around him, and uh, so you know I don't know when he'll slow down. When you still see him out there, do you ever think, man, I, I could still play, I could still do this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I could, unfortunately. <laughs> I may I may want to, but yeah, not anymore.